Hey guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm giving you the update that everyone seems to be DMing me about over on Instagram. A few of you have gone back to that video and asked me for an update. So I'm here with the update, okay? <laughs> Did your edges also fall out in 2020, 2021? Well, you're in the right place because mine did too, girl. JJ? It's my nephew at the door. Hi, Sudi. You know, close, close the door and come. Yeah, so yeah, my edges fell out too. And to give you guys a short recap on my edgeless story. Um, in November of last year, I went to Ghana. And whilst I was in Ghana, I got some braids. Okay. He's got cold. Um, so yeah, whilst I was in Ghana, I got some braids and I wore those braids in a bun literally the whole entire time, all the way up until uh, January when I took the braids down. And when I took them down, I had no edges. I'm going to put some shots from the last video and whatever pictures I have so you guys can see. So you can see the state that my edges were in. And so I challenged, <laughs> I basically challenged myself to try and grow my edges back using the Ordinary's Multi-Peptide Serum for um, hair density. And I just wanted to see if it would make a difference in terms of like the thickness of the hair, if the hair was going to grow. Of course, I do understand it's not like a hair growth magic miracle product. It is a peptide, right? A few of you joined me on that journey, so congratulations to you, you strong-willed men and women out there, God truly bless you because I did not stick it through. The plan was to do this for three months and then come back and be like, you know, here's my results. That did not happen. However, I still do have, you know, my observations whilst I was using the product and then since I stopped using the product where my hair is at the moment. I did notice an improvement on my hairline. So my hairline actually did improve. However, I can't definitively say that that improvement was caused by this product. I, I don't know. I mean, I used it, but I don't know if it actually um, attributed or sorry, contributed to the improvement that I saw on my hairline. What I can do is say that in the period that I was using this, I did see an improvement. I wasn't using it daily. This product is actually meant to be used bless you bless you it's meant to be used daily i i did not do that i think maybe i used it every now and then and um i would actually love to know how it worked for a lot of you guys that joined me on that like comment below let me know how much you liked it how, if it worked or not i mean i'm assuming if i saw improvement and then a lot of you guys saw improvement then there might be something in this as a aid a, a hair growth aid do you know what I mean um anyway so you know in life they always say it gets worse before it gets better well <sighs> well <laughs> as soon as my edges started to look good I was like oh yep now is the perfect time for me to go ahead and get those knotless braids that I have always desired. However, I chose to get knotless braids at the wrong time. The edges were only just growing back. They were only just recovering. They were in a really fragile state. And um, they let me know. My edges let me know that it was not happy. When I took those braids down... You would think, you would actually think that I was having postpartum shedding. I looked like I'd had a baby. I was like, to be this edgeless and, and also childless, why? God, why? Do you know what I mean? I feel like if you have a child and then your edges fall out, at least you're like, oh, look at my beautiful baby. I'm happy to give you my edges. I had, I had no edges and no baby. Nothing. And hence why I took the drastic decision or <laughs> to do my whole um, summer of wash and goes because I just wanted to alleviate 
any and every form of tension on my hairline. So let's get into it. How is my hairline looking? Yeah, this is what my hairline currently looks like. I mean, it's just, it's such an improvement that it even shocks me. But this is what my hairline looks like. This is this side. This is my, um, this is my right side. Okay, it's my hairline on my right side, which was bad, but it was not as bad as the left. The left, this side right here was the worst. Um, and this is how it looks now. So you can see that the hair is actually growing back. <laughs> you can see loads of tiny little like round balls, growth, growth. So I think my main takeaway with this whole regrow my edges that I want to say to you guys is um, doing absolutely nothing to my edges has been the most effective and quickest way of growing my edges back. So I just wanted to put that out there and let you guys know. You asked for updates. Um, you have seen it literally went from bad to terrible um, to now flourishing. So I still love this product. Um, I still would, I would recommend it. I just don't want to come and sit on here and be like, oh, I used this on my edges and like my all my edges grew back. Do you know what I mean? I just don't know how it's going to work for everybody. I will say that I feel like it did contribute. But however, I can't put 100% of the onus of growth back on this product. But anywho, guys, I mean, that's it. I just wanted to give you an update. Probably waffled a lot more than I needed to. I just this likes the twerk. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, all that good stuff. Give the video a thumbs up, like, 